Hi, I'm Valerie Davis, CEO of Assembly North America here at the Possible Conference in sunny Miami Beach, and I am joined by Jeff Rossi of Yahoo. Hi, How Jeff. How are you doing? Thanks so much for having me. Yeah. First, I want you to introduce yourself, what you do at Yahoo, but then I also want you to share with our audience a little bit of the Yahoo journey. Of course. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. This is a wonderful event, and we're glad to, glad to be here. Thanks for having us. Um, so my name is Jeff Rossi. I am the head of agency, global head of agency at Yahoo. Uh, it's my job to make sure that we are servicing agencies' businesses uh, as they need. Uh, also in charge of managing the team and setting strategy and activation for the company. We at Yahoo have a long legacy. I think that there's no problem in terms of brand awareness, but I think there is a consideration and understanding problem that we have, and it comes because we have been such a big brand. Going back to uh, the old days of Yahoo, the magazine that we published, um, all the way through to becoming Oath and then Verizon acquisition. Yeah. Um, and then about a year and a half ago, we were acquired by a private equity group uh, called Apollo. So Apollo acquired us and they have been an amazing partner for us. Uh, what it's done for us is they have streamlined our business to focus on things that work. And I think in the old days of Yahoo, uh, the internet was such a changing and evolving place that we made a lot of bets. We tried to get in a lot of businesses and either we were sometimes successful, many times unsuccessful, um, and sometimes the marketplace evolved in different, and pivoted in different ways. Um, so now what we've done is we've really focused on the content, the services, and the ad tech that work. Um, so when we start to think about things like Yahoo Sports has always, since its inception, been a top two or three sports de destination. We are the number two fantasy sports site. Yahoo Finance is a number Finance. one property. It's I'm huge. I'm on that all the time. That's this, we, have a, we have a fantastic <laughs> studio. It's right next to my desk. I see them shooting all the time. Uh, we have Mail still has a tremendous uh, amount of user base. News, we recently made an acquisition of a company called Artifact, which is an AI technology that actually serves out content. It's created by the founders of Instagram. So we're all still making bets, still evolving under the Yahoo umbrella. And then with that, we've built a huge, massive, successful DSP. And that ability to support the advertising industry and partners such as yourself that have moved towards a data-first, customer-first approach, we have quietly built a huge DSP that is one of the leaders in the marketplace. And I think what you're gonna see pretty soon is that we're not gonna be that quiet anymore. Um, we've hired a new CMO, uh, Tressie Lieberman, who's come in, and uh, our CEO, Jim Lanzone, they have a tremendous passion for brands and making sure that Yahoo stands for something and that people that work with us get everything they want and they deserve when they work with us and understand why. Um, so it is a long evolution and actually the branding of Yahoo is both uh, wind on our sails and headwinds at times that we have to say that innovation is coming from a company that's almost 30 years old. Um, but, but we are making the bets and the investments of both on talent and product uh, to make that happen. So basically staying a little true to who you guys always were in the content realm, because yes. if you if you build content and it's good quality content like Yahoo Sports and Yahoo Finance, you are gonna get the consumers, the engaged consumers that all marketers and brands want. And it's really nice to see, because that's the one thing I've always known about Yahoo is that they've always had the fantastic content that I've always gone to consume. Yes, so. that's exactly right. So yeah. we have, our core value has been, you know, we historically had been a guide to the internet. That's always, we'll help you find the content that you need. And that, the ethos of that, of wanting to help and wanting to solve a confusing problem is applied to our B2B environment as well and partners such as yourself that if you're going to work in evolution AI, if you're going to work in ad tech and DSP, we will help you and we will partner with you with that same ethos that built Yahoo, the consumer brand. So we have 205 million logged in user IDs. So I know like sometimes big numbers get thrown around. With 205 million US IDs is a tremendous amount that we can do a lot with. And we get that because of the quality content we've created. All the IDs that we have come from mail, come from sports, come from finance, come from news. And we'll continue to fund a funnel into our DSP. Then what we're able to do is actually look at the non-addressable side of our business. And we've made huge investments on technologies such as Blueprint, which is our AI solution so we can actually make uh, take our deterministic data and probabilistic data and look at uh, the identity graph the content the user behavior and really decide what is the best place for a marketer to place their their ads um, so that's that's really how we look at everything 
So you're like stealing all my thunder. I can't ask all the questions because you're, you're <laughs> answering them so completely. Sorry. But well, staying on that topic, you're talking a lot about identity graph and how you're using AI. Talk to me on the measurement side of things because yes. I think that's important too to connect all the dots in the ecosystem. It is always, and it's, I, I'm glad you asked that because a lot of times we spend so much time and energy thinking about how the ads can be deployed that we don't think about how are they received. And I think that's really where we are. And that measurement is core to everything we do in every part of our business and product. So we've made a huge investment in what has been a successful commerce business. We actually have a tremendous amount of commerce data. It's been a huge part of our business. But it has always had to be not just commerce for the sake of serving ads. It needed to be commerce closely tied to measurement. We've hired a dedicated team. We are Our pillars right now are going to be our DSP, our connected TV and uh, and our commerce. That's really where it's going to be all through this identity spine that we're going to work with. But it all has to be underpinned by measurement. So that's exactly how we build these businesses when we get into them or, or support them in this case. What is Yahoo doing that, like, that you're most excited about? One thing, because there's so much. This is week eight on the job for me. Okay. I'm very excited that I'm here. And it's hard for me to narrow it down to one. It is okay. not that I don't know what it is. So I'm going to say a few things and I'll say which is my favorite. I, <laughs> okay. Just so that. I feel that I've checked all my boxes. So um, the investment in commerce is definitely something that I am super excited about. I think if we figure it out, I think there's a, I, knowing, having spent half my career at agency, having more friends in, in, in the industry, how important commerce has become to your business. For us to make an investment where you're headed, make, gets me excited. Um, our advanced TV solutions, including connected TV, as well as addressable linear, um, our unique partnerships, that's really powerful. Um, but at the end of the day, I think the, the surprise for me being new was I didn't realize the identity was as strong as it was and as broad as it was. And we just made an announcement yesterday, today? Uh, yesterday. We just made an announcement yesterday that we are now rolling out that identity solutions to CTV partners. So we now can go to an NBC Universal. We can go to a Tubi. We can talk to a Freewheel. We can talk to a Paramount in a CTV environment with all the power of that identity. And so for me, I'm not looking at this industry has had enough flashes in the pan that I'm more looking for sustainable business that we can build upon. An identity for me, we can do a lot of good business with good partners and deliver good messaging in any way. So identity for me is going to be what I think I get excited about. Okay, getting away a little bit from Yahoo, mm -hmm. uh, what do you think marketers should be thinking about right now? That's a good, that's a good question. I think it is a... It's a tough time to be a marketer. It's a tough time to be an agency. Um, Word, no, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is, it's, it's difficult. I think yeah. that there is so much energy on procurement and rates and fees that um, It's funny, I just interviewed yesterday um, the president of the four A's and that was the exact question I asked her was about pitching and what, what, are, what, what are they seeing from an agency and client perspective yeah. because the cost is incredible. Where does that money so, come yes, from? So Where does that continue. money go? I'm sorry, I just had to share that because no, it's like top of mind for me too. The cost to retain the yeah. business is yeah. hundreds of thousands of dollars yeah. that go out the door to do the same work on the same yeah. client. Well, where do those resources come from? Well, they shouldn't be coming from strategy. They shouldn't be coming from you know, innovation. They couldn't, but I'm sorry, innovation inherently has to be, a, it's going to be a losing proposition because you need to place bets and, and, and incur a, an amount of risk. And that's difficult for a partner such as yourself. So, so I think what I, the marketing industry has to still have that metal, have that, that core belief that things will change. We will have the hit, we will do things right. So for every, agency person that ran their metaverse practice or NFT practice, there's someone who was on their front foot for AI. And you know, that's really, I, I really just want to say like, and I want to be a partner as we make investments to de-risk your work. If I'm making an investment and you can benefit from it, that you don't have to take that hard cost or you don't have to invest the heads, let's work on the same side of the table to, to figure that out so that you can take more risk and bring your client more innovation and find new ways to win. I. Uh, I, yeah, that, yeah, that's really margins are being tightened exactly. and where are we looking and the costs for pitching doesn't just fall on the agency or the platforms, by the way, they fall on the clients too, is what I learned yesterday, yeah. by the way. <laughs> so it was um, it's interesting. So and, and the other thing, just to share my findings, I find them fascinating, 
is that like what we were talking about is how much we continually evolve in our industry and at a, such a fast clip, mm -hmm. particularly now post COVID. But like the pitching process is still where it always was, yes. you know, and yes. it's like, can yes. we evolve that a little bit? Um, I don't want to get too much into that though. Possible. We're here. Yes. Um, we're on the final day of content. Yes. Um, what content have you seen consumed that you think is really interesting? Is there anything there? I think I've seen a number of, of the content that I think have been really strong. I think what this is really interesting is, and you have such a unique position, um, because you sit in an agency and you're able to see every publisher and technology and client pitch you and present to you, and you can relatively stack rank who's doing what, what trends do you see, what through lines. I don't always get to see that. So an opportunity to come here, it wasn't one thing that I saw. It was to hear a number of people present themselves. It was it was almost like a first date, you know, yeah, I'm gonna put on my yeah. cleanest shirt, I'm gonna say my best lines, I'm gonna save my funniest stories, and I'm gonna put my best foot forward. To hear every company do that, I'm like, oh, I'm starting to understand the trends of the marketplace. And then for me, working on the agency business, I understand what is my positioning and value proposition to an agency partner from Yahoo. That's That for me yeah. has been the most valuable. Interesting, I find, um, and I was speaking to a friend of me yesterday at a dinner, um, and we were talking about the need for even on the agency side too, to collectively get together to help solve some industry-wide problems, yes. maybe pitching is one of them, um, measurement, like like how can we get together as frenemies to, to solve the problems in our industry and just make us all better? I think all boats rise with the tide, clients will get better Love work and, and outputs. I completely agree, and if you, but, the, but the issue is if you start to look at all of these booths, these are all individual companies with individual solutions to individual problems. Yes, yes. So every, this, this yeah. booth is a perfect analogy for what this is. It is looking in one direction and I don't look anywhere on the sides. Yeah. I don't look behind me, I don't look to the sides, I'm only looking in one yeah. direction, and that's how the, some of these companies are. To your point, we need to stop solving for, you know, if the cookie's going to deprecate, if all this is going to happen, we still solve for the devices people use, not the people that use devices. Yeah. And we need to go back to people and yeah. say, how do we take that company that's great and your company that's great and my company that's great and solve bigger problems yeah. and make this just a better and more effective and efficient place to work. Yeah, because the secret sauce then becomes how you're using or leveraging it. It's exactly. not the solution exactly. itself, it's right? It's the application it's like, of it yeah. and the results you yeah. yield. Yeah. 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 Um, it's like first to market, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> exactly. um, well, Jeff, thank you so much for joining of us course. in Assembly's Content Cabana. We love doing this, and I'm really glad you're able to join us thank this year. Thank you for having me. This is wonderful. It was great to meet you. Right. So, thanks. Thank you so much.